Hey guys, it's Daniel. Welcome back. He would be totally engaged. Then, all of a sudden, a light switch would go off and he'd go sit in the corner and completely disappear into himself. I didn't really know how to deal with that. That was a quote from an interview Butch Vig did with Rolling Stone back in 2011. He was describing what it was like working with Kurt Cobain for the first time and how he was caught off guard by Kurt's mood swings. The first time Butch Vig worked with Nirvana was from April 2nd to 6, 1990. During that period, Nirvana recorded eight songs with Butch Vig at his studio in Madison, Wisconsin. At the time, the band featured Chad Channing on drums. According to Butch Vig, there was tension between Kurt and Chad during the recording sessions. Given the fact that a few months later, Chad and Nirvana parted ways, this isn't surprising to hear. As mentioned, this was the first time Butch Vig ever worked with Nirvana. And, in his own words, one of the things he had to learn to deal with was Kurt Cobain's moodiness and how Kurt would just stop recording if he didn't feel like it. Reflecting on this, Butch Vig told the following to Uncut Magazine in July of 2021. Quote, Chris was really friendly. Chad seemed nice too. Kurt was very likable, quiet, but polite. I fed them up at this blue-collar bar called the Friendly Tavern, a real working man's watering hole and dirt cheap. You could get a pitcher of beer for two bucks and a bowl of soup and grilled cheese for a buck and a quarter. Now, in the studio, I was taking my time to set up, and I could tell Kurt was getting impatient. We tracked the first song and did a couple of takes when Kurt put his guitar down and went and sat in the corner. I tried to talk to him, but Chris explained he got into these moods. You had to let him go through it, and eventually, he'd snap out of it. Eventually, Kurt stood up and said, let's go, and we cut the first song. I realized that was something I'd have to deal with. He had these incredible mood swings, sometimes several times a day. I also noticed tension between Kurt and Chad. Kurt would sometimes go behind the drums and show Chad how to play. Chris was a peacekeeper, the guy I would go to if I needed some help with the other two. By the time we finished, we agreed to schedule more time. I did rough mixes, sent the band a cassette, and didn't hear anything for months. End quote. Now, in terms of the tension between Kurt and Chad, Doug Olson, an engineer who worked with Butch Vig, recalled the following. Quote, Chad seemed like a nice guy, but he seemed ill at ease. There was definitely something going on between him and Kurt, where Kurt was not psyched about something. That did come to a head at one point. 